Welcome back. An emergency can happen at a moment's notice and treating kids can be quite different than treating adults. Tonight we're getting a look at the real life response during a life saving simulation. Here's Jeff Wagner with the story. Stinging cuts, deep bruises, nasty gashes. Not real, but they look close enough. So we can pull these up? And that's the point. This is part of a training exercise for the Minnesota Air National Guard's 133rd Airlift Wing. We'll use makeup and we'll use prosthetics to create fake wounds and to make it look as real as possible. Sunday, with the guidance of Children's Minnesota, they rehearsed what to do if a tornado were to hit a school injuring students. We've had to triage the children into different tents depending on the medical complications that they're experiencing. The goal? Make the training as real as possible to build muscle memory of how to respond to not only the stress, but also any type of disaster. This style of training is so critical because simulation really not only provides that realism, so your stress levels go up, and so you learn to build that muscle memory in a situation that you are not used to. Dr. Samreen Vora says treating pediatric patients is different than adults. These exercises with the National Guard and other community groups help prepare first responders while also offering a chance for feedback and improvement. As a level one pediatric trauma center, we want to be prepared to really collaborate with our community partners to accept those patients that might be coming in or to go out and partner with them to really offer our kid expertise and care for those pediatric patients. It's been a really great experience to learn the skills from our subject matter experts with Children's Minnesota and then to take those skills and apply them to scenarios and simulations. The children that played victims are part of a community program where they learn emergency preparedness. Many have acting backgrounds and want to become a first responder themselves. This is the time of year when you really need to keep your eyes open for deer. Motorists are reminded to watch for deer along roadways, especially at dawn and dusk when the deer are most active. North Dakota Game and Fish advises if you see a deer on the road or in a ditch, slow down. Hit your brakes, but stay in control of your car and do not swerve. Be aware that one deer can often mean other deer are nearby. Be aware that a permit is required before taking possession of a roadkill deer. They're free and available from game wardens and local law enforcement. The Bison defense has really been dominating so far this year. Up next in sports, we dig deep into why Code Green has been so successful. 